Today's review is the Diamond Toys Marvel Select Magneto action figure. Hey guys, so I'm back with another review of a Diamond Toys Marvel Select figure. This one we have here today is Magneto. And this is based off the comic book uh, Magneto. So this is the front of the packaging. You get a nice shot of uh, Mr. Magneto himself. Flip to the side. You get a nice uh, comic drawing of Magneto. And to the back of the packaging, here's a nice little read up. Um, you also get there's also a unmasked variant version, which I haven't seen anywhere except for uh, maybe online, but goes for a lot of money. Um, other figures on the line, you have Cyclops and Deadpool. <clears throat> and this is the figure that we are looking at today. Let's flip to the side. Let's open this up, and I'll be right back. So right out of the package, you get a nice display stand diorama and you get the figure so there's no accessories as it appears um, so let's take a look at the diorama first so the diorama has a bit of good weight to it it does have very nice detail um, so what it appears to be is the school of the Xavier you know, the X-Men and Magneto just destroyed their school. Uh, so that's what you see here, Xavier. Um, that looks like the Hand of Colossus, member of the X-Men. So overall, it's, it's a nice diorama. It's very detailed. Here's a peg hole for Magneto. Yeah, as other Marvel Select figures from Diamond Toys uh, that come with diorama stands, I mean, they, they never fail to please. I always like what they include with it. Nicely detailed, if I haven't said that enough. Let's put that aside and let's take a look at the figure. In terms of articulation, his head is on a ball joint. There's limited movement to move forward and back, uh, most likely due to the helmet uh, blocking in the way. On the shoulder is a ball joint. You can't see it there, as you can see. That's, look, that's the hinge at the shoulder. Uh, the cape, which is a rubber cape, sort of limits the movement of the, sh the shoulder moving up. Uh, I mean, although it's not too bad, but I mean, this is as far as it'll go. At the elbow is a bend and also a swivel. At the hand, also bend and swivel. At the waistline, it's a swivel. At the upper thigh is a ball joint. It's actually a ball joint plus. Um, rotation so there's added articulation there at the knee is a bend at the feet is a twist which you can't see on the camera is kind of dark on his uh, on his shoes or whatnot there seems to be a bend very limited so but it is there In terms of paint application, I mean, it, it's Magneto's signature color costume. Uh, dark red and purple outlining. Um, I like, I actually liked this, I guess this part of the cape, where the cape's attached to in design. Um, I, I really like the sculpt and paint of this uh what appears to be metal-like uh, around his around his neck. That's a nice little detail there. You can see the detailing of his abs and muscles. 
as well as his arms. The cape, as I mentioned before, is a rubber cape, so it does put some weight towards the back of the figure, so you have to stand him a little forward in order for him to stand properly. And also, you know, with the foot is very flat, so but it, there is a peg hole to uh, basically sit on top of the diorama where the diorama has a one peg hole. Max Eisenhardt, um, aka Magneto. Man, there needs to be a Marvel Select Xavier figure. Why haven't they released one? If they could add every character from X-Men, that would be amazing. So let's set this guy up on top of the diorama. So here's Magneto standing on top of its base. It stands pretty nice. Um, although it would have been an added plus if uh, Diamond Toys has added, had added some flying metal objects. You know, that's what Magneto controls. Um, if he had some kind of added accessories, that would have been cool. Uh, but overall, the figure itself is nice. The diorama is nice. Nice paint, nice sculpt. Um, very, very close. Very accurate to the comic book Magneto. Um, also, kind of reminds me back of the uh, back when they had the X-Men cartoon. Um, this is exactly what Magneto looked like. So it does bring back memories. If you have any questions or comments, please leave below. Subscribe to my channel, Rockstick, as I bring you more reviews. I'm a big fan of DC, Marvel, and also uh, branded company um, NECA, which you know has different brands and licenses. So I will do, be doing more reviews on, from them, figures from them.